So we've got, got our blank knee. We've half lapped it and glued it together. Run it through the planer. Got it down to the thickness we want. Then we've planed the bottom flat and square to the side so when it sits on the seat it's upright. So we can put it in place, stick a clamp on it. That's the instrument I use for marking out the seat knees really. It's just a, a straight bit of wood with a bubble from a spirit level, hot melted, glued on the top so it's level. Because the seat is level, the knee is going to slide straight in on the seat to the hull. So every mark we put on here, we need to be parallel to the seat. And that's all this does really. Just gives me an indication of when I'm parallel to the seat. So what we need to do we can mark on here, on our stick, the offset, if you like, of where we're going to mark the knee. And so if I, cho if I choose that one there, I can put this against the gunnel, under the gunnel, on the plank land, wherever I want to. And providing it's a level across the boat, parallel to the seat, I can then transfer a line from here to the knee. So we can put it on top of the gunnel, hold it level, draw a line out, that's the top of our gunnel. Stick our stick there, hold it level, mark our offset, bottom of the gunnel, mark our offset, underside the gunnel, hold it level, draw a line out on top of our bit of stick because the top is the surface that's under the gun. While we're there, mark our offset of the plank, come down the plank, hold it level, mark our offset. Put it there, hold it level, mark our offset, down there, and finally down on the seat. So we should now be able to join up all those pencil lines and that will tell us where we've got to cut to give us the bevel we need to cut this at. So we can just hold our stick on there, eye, eye down against the gunnel, make sure we're looking something like it. Just draw a line on the top there. And we're ready to do the next bit. So there's our knee with all our, our marks on. One thing to try and remember is that the bottom of our gunnel is curved, not a, a straight corner. So it's handy to draw that in. And try and remember to, to make that a better fit. Uh, 
So we just set the table of the bandsaw to the angle we marked on the top of the knee, which is the, the bevel of the gunnel to the square of the seat. And we're gonna, we can make two cuts at this angle, then we're going to have to angle the bed the same the other way and, and come in and cut that line there. This is quite a good bandsaw because it will tilt both ways. Some bandsaws only tilt one way and that makes life a bit tricky. Now we want to make that cut so we have to tilt the bandsaw table the other way. Now we can set it back flat and we can saw in. where we've got the curved corner under our gunnel, so we're just going to nibble away. It will need cleaning up a little bit, but we shouldn't be too far away from where we want to end up now. The first trial fit, you see that the, the knee won't quite go under the gunnel. We make sure that the seat is down on the stringer, which it is, so we just want a, a millimetre or so trimmed off that. tap our knee into position, see what the, what the fit's like. It's not looking too bad, we can see down here that we're, our bevel is pretty good. So the gunnel there, the only thing that's We've got a, about a millimetre and a half gap on the gunnel and we're tight down here. We've got sort of two choices now. One is we can try taking a millimetre off this lower section so that it all fits back together or we can scribe every part that we're trying to fit. We've just drawn a line on there that's half a pencil thickness off where we want it to end up. So our horizontal lines aren't going to change because the knee is just sliding in parallel to the seat. So if we now trim the knee to those lines we've just scribed with the pencil, it ought to be a much closer fit to all three sections of the boat. Back to the bevel that we had.
And you can see on the top there that the bevel's right for the gunnel. Mark the position on the gunnel. Label the top of the knee, so this is the middle seat. Starboard side. Forward. And then what we'll do later on when we've got all the knees fitted against the side of the hull, we'll decide on the on what shape we're going to have here. I can't draw left-handed. It'll be something like that. But they will be cut out later. The seat because we've hammered this in, the seat and the planks have come apart, but when the knee gets fastened, that will all go in together. And um, we may have to put a hole down through here in the seat, because when the knees are in place, this is just a big water trap. And if the boat's spending some time leaning one way, this will fill with rainwater and start rotting out the planks. So it pays to have a, a hole or something in the seat there to drain the water away. That's pretty good. When it's clamped in, it'll soon show you if the bevel's wrong on the back because the knee will kick over there or kick over there. But that's. Uh, that's lining up with the edge of the seat really well. So that's another one on its way. Knee gets shaped, finished, sanded, whatever, put in place, clamped in place, so that you can see that everything's where it should be. Then a, a copper nail through the gunnel riveted, possibly a, a screw through the overlap of the top plank it gets doweled and then the fastenings down through the seat. The reason we half lap them together is because traditionally they would have been grown oak pieces of wood with the grain following that corner but trying to source pieces of wood like that. And for this boat, we'd need 10 for the seat knees, one for the breast hook, two for the quarter knees. Finding that many pieces of oak that were the right size, shape, grain, is just not worth going out there looking for them. So we just half lap them together, glue them together with epoxy, and they'll be fine. Or you could laminate, um, but that's an awful lot of work. It does look pretty when it's done, but it is an awful lot of work. 